From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. And good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news on this Monday. You know, we are going to get right over to Miller Robson. Those record temperatures heading toward our areas of the state. It's going to get warm out there. Uh, just a little bit, just a little yeah. bit. Yeah, today and tomorrow we could see records fall. In fact, tomorrow we could be flirting with all time record highs here in Montana and northern parts of Wyoming. Let's take a look at those temperatures right now moving west to east. We've got uh, temperatures in the 80s and 90s and of course a lot of the uh, the state, especially central parts and eastern parts and down in northern Wyoming, we're going to try to crack the century mark today and tomorrow where we could see again lots of records fall. Watches and warnings heat advisory in effect through uh, tomorrow night, uh, tonight through tomorrow night for portions of uh, northeastern portions there of the state. Also, it's dry out there too. Fire weather watch in effect for portions of the northeast corner and a red flag warning in effect tomorrow uh, for areas central and east and we'll have an excessive heat a warning tomorrow as well for those spots. On top of that, could we see severe weather today? All this going on, and we'll tell you about it coming up here in just a bit. Andrea. All right. Miller, a lot to keep track of. Well, as he just said, that fire danger is growing as temperatures rise. We've got some updates on two new fires that were reported over the weekend. The Robertson Draw Fire, burning about 40 acres 12 miles south of Red Lodge, and eight miles north of Clark, Wyoming. It was first reported Sunday afternoon and is burning in sagebrush and grass. The cause still under investigation. And traffic through Deep Creek Canyon is shut down between Townsend and White Sulphur Springs as a fire burns 200 acres there. About 50 firefighters are on scene and hotshot crews are now ordered. So as the heat turns up, crowds on the west coast are turning to the water to cool off. In San Diego, lifeguards say they're seeing people come out who are getting into the water for the first time since the pandemic. Heather Hope has more. People are able to stay in the water a lot longer um, and they're cooling off and, and we're busy. We're making rescues up and down the coast. With the water temperature at about 68 degrees at Mission Beach, more people are getting in the ocean, but water safety experts say know your limits. If you haven't been in the water in a long time, I suggest you stay shallow. Don't go beyond your, your uh, capabilities. You might just want to stay waist deep and just cool off and not actually go swim out in the water. San Diego native T. White tried to set up this beach tent with her family to have fun in the sand. It was hot enough to actually come outside today. I don't feel like the world is ending anymore with all the crazy weather. The heat wave wasn't hot enough for one swimmer from Tucson, Arizona. No, no, this is nothing. Sean Harnage had his boogie board ready. I know, like, if you boogie board, you're going to, like, probably get swallowed by a wave. You just got to know how to recover, make sure you've done that before. With the increased crowds due to hot weather and early summer vacations, lifeguards remain on the lookout. We have some strong rip currents in the area, and um, those are the locations that we're typically making most of our rescues. Saturday, lifeguards did 26 rescues at busy Mission Beach, 